grade for students, I am Mr. Bernard and I will be your math teacher for today. Make sure that you have the following materials. Number one, you have your textbook. Number two, you have your pen. And number three, you must have a paper for your calculations. But strictly, no calculators. Again, it's regular reminder, calculators and the like are not allowed. Okay? Before we start the next one, let us have a short review on how to multiply whole numbers. Five times five. What is the answer? Great, twenty-five. Next, eight times six. What is the answer? Correct, it's forty-eight. One more. Let's say we have eleven times nine. What is the answer? Great job, it's ninety-nine. Now let us have a recap about changing mixed number into improper fraction and vice versa. For instance, we have four and one third. We have to rewrite it into improper fraction. First, we need to multiply the denominator and the whole number, and after that, we add the numerator. So let's start. Three times four equals, very good, it's 12. Plus one equals 13, and we have 13 over three, yes. Just copy the denominator. So what if from improper fraction to mixed number? Just simply divide the numbers. 13 divided by 3 is equal to 4 remainder 1. So therefore, 13 over 3 or 13 divided by 3 is equal to 4 and 1 third. Okay? Great job. Now, Our lesson for today is all about multiply a whole number and a mixed number. Open your book on page 561. Our objective, use drawings and equations to represent and solve problems involving multiplying a whole number and a mixed number. Let us read and comprehend solvent here. Jerry is filling his sand pill and pouring the sand into a large bucket. Can the bucket hold eight of Jerry's pills full of sand? Jerry's pill holds two and three fourth pounds of sand. And the large bucket holds thirty pounds of sand. Since multiplication is repeated addition, we can add two and three fourths by itself eight times. So let's start. Two and three fourths. Plus two and three fourths. Plus two and three fourths. Plus two and three fourths 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 plus two and three fourths. Make sure that you have eight two and three fourths. So first, add the whole numbers. So the answer is going to be sixteen. And then after that, we add the fractions. So since the fractions are similar, we will just add the numerators and copy the denominator. So the answer is going to be. 24 over 4. Then, we need to rename the improper fraction. Since 24 over 4 is equal to 6, just write 6. Then let's add 16 and 6. The answer is, yes, correct, it's 22. So we have 22 pounds. Now, we have also another way. Just simply multiply 8 and 2 and 3 fourths. So first, we need to decompose 2 and 3 fourths. So it's going to be 2 plus 3 fourths. And after that, we multiply. So 8 times 2 plus 8 times 3 fourths. So the answer is 16 plus 24 over 4. So the same thing, we have 16 plus 6 equals 22. You will know this property later on. Going back to the question, can the bucket hold 8 of your spills full of sand? Probably, yes, 22 pounds is less than 30 pounds. Let us proceed to look back. How do you know you need to multiply to solve this problem? You need to know how many pounds are in each of your spills. 
So since you have eight equal groups with two and three fourth pounds in each, you need to multiply, isn't it? Let us answer the guided practice on page 563. Problem number one. In the problem on the previous page, how much fabric would Ellie need if she wanted to make six blankets? Explain. Again, you have to refer to the previous example. And the answer should be 16 yards. How did we get it? Six times two and two thirds. Using the safety property of multiplication, just simply multiply the whole numbers and also whole number by the fraction. So it's going to be 6 times 2 plus quantity of 6 times 2 thirds. So 12 plus 12 over 3. Then we have to rename the improper fraction. So since 12 over 3 is equal to 4, just simply add 12. 12 plus 4 is equal to 16. Did you get it? Great. Next, problem number two. Find three times one and one third using the two methods shown on the previous page. But by this time, I'm going to show you one method and you have to do the another one. So three times one and one third is equal to three times one plus one third. Did you notice that? Yes, we decompose the mixed number. And after that, we apply the distributive property of multiplication. It's going to be 3 times 1 plus 3 times 1 third. So the answer is 3 plus 3 over 3. So since 3 over 3 is equal to 1, we will add to 3. So 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So our answer is 12 over 3 or simply 4. Great. Now let's proceed to number 3. 2 times 2 and 1 fourth. What is your answer? Very good. So we have 4 and 2 over 4 or 4 and 1 half. Next, number 4. 2 times 1 and 1 half. What is your answer? You can use the fraction strips. So your answer is 3. Great. For independent practice, you will be given 5 minutes in order to answer numbers 5 to 14. Are you ready? Your time starts now.
assessment. Number 23. Which expression can be used in order to solve the following problem? Seth has seven cans of tuna. Each can holds five and nine over ten ounces of tuna. How many ounces of tuna does Seth have? What do you think is your answer? If your answer is letter C, then you are correct. Number 24. Which expression can be used in order to solve the following problem? Sarah has six copies of same book. If each book weighs 3 and 5 over 8 pounds, how many pounds do all six books weigh? What do you think is the answer? If your answer is letter B, then you are correct. And now, let us summarize the lesson. So 3 times 2 and 1 fifth. We can find the product of this equation using 3 ways. First way, multiplication is repeated addition. So we will just add 2 and 1 over 5 3 times by itself. So 2 and 1 fifth plus 2 and 1 fifth plus 2 and 1 fifth is equal to 6 plus 3 over 5, which is equal to, correct, 6 and 3 over 5. Next, you can use this DBT property to multiply a whole number and a mixed number. First, we have to decompose the mixed numbers. So 3 times quantity of 2 plus 1 over 5. Then after that, let us distribute 3. So it's going to be 3 times 2 plus 3 times 1 over 5. So it will be 6 plus 3 over 5. So same thing. We have 6 and 3 over 5. Last one. You can rewrite the mixed number into improper fraction before multiplying it by the whole number. So it's going to be 3 times 11 over 5. Then simply multiply 3 by 11, then over 5. So 3 times 11 is equal to 33 over 5. Then we have to rename 33 over 5 because 30 over 5 is improper fraction. It's going to be 6 and 3, 5. So the answer for this equation is 6 and 3 over 5. Hooray! We finished the lesson. Don't forget to answer the given task using your Pearson Realize account. Bunch of things! Till next lesson!